Police say this man could be a serial rapist. Tonight, he's out of jail. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kristen Hartman. And I'm Jerry Rebish. He's charged with kidnapping and raping a woman, but detectives say they have reason to believe the Gahanna man may have done this before. 10 TV News reporter Kevin Landers is following this story. And Kevin, you spoke to a woman who was able to get away from him, she says. I did. She told me she didn't know the man who offered to give her a ride. She told police she got into his car voluntarily. But it was during that ride she told police she felt something was about to happen. His name is Samuel Aramoselli, and according to two women who met him, they told police he raped them. This search warrant states the first rape happened on March 27th on East 11th Avenue. The woman told police an unknown man approached her, displayed a gun, and forced her to have sex. Four months later, another woman walking in the same area tells police an unknown man offered her a ride, drove her behind an apartment building, and threatened to hurt her if she didn't have sex. She consented under duress. On August 6th, another woman claims an unknown man picked her up at this market on East Livingston Avenue. She says she got into the car because at the time all the buses here had stopped running. According to the search warrant, the man drove her to the corner of Morse Road and Hamilton Road and told her to exit. The woman remembered the license plate and called police. And within two hours, Gehanna police pulled over the suspect's car. Aaron Moselli was arrested and charged with abduction, but police had more than the woman's accounts to make their case against him. Police say DNA evidence linked Aaron Moselli to two of his alleged victims. And police say surveillance video taken from the speedway in July on South High Street shows Aaron Moselli with one of his alleged victims. On September 9th, SWAT officers arrested Aaron Moselli and charged him with rape and kidnapping. Now, Aaron Moselli posted a $20,000 bond and was ordered to stay away from his victims. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.